Hello, good day and welcome to our device. Today we are going to be learning how to disable update. This uh, updated tutorial of mine due to the previous one not working. So to disable Windows update, we are going to be using various methods. And all these methods, you are going to apply them. So first method you are going to apply is to go to what? Services. And go to services. You click on services. When the services window open, you scroll down to Windows Update. You double click on Windows Update. We are going to click, first of all, click on stop to stop the service from running. And then click on disable on the startup type. Then click on apply and OK. This is the first method you apply. The next method is to go toward the group policy editor. That is edit group policy or you could press window r and type g p edit dot msc to launch the group policy editor so after launching the group policy editor in the computer configuration tab we are going to type click on administrative template so after clicking on administrative template you click on windows component so after clicking on Windows component, you scroll down and click on Windows Update. So after clicking on Windows Update, you see Configure Automatic Updates. You click on this to bring out this window. So what we are going to press here is Disabled. So we are going to disable, press Disabled, then click on Apply, and then click on OK. The next method you are going to effect is go to Settings. After going to settings, you go to network and internet. Network and internet. Remember, all these methods, you are going to apply them in order to make sure that Windows does not update. So after going to your network status, whatsoever the network you are connected to, you click on properties of the network, and then you set the network as a metered connection. This will prevent Windows from updating. Set the network as a metered connection. So the last method we are going to activate is to go to what, the registry editor. So type registry editor. Or you could press window R and type regedit and, and then press enter. This will bring out the windows in the registry editor. So in the registry editor window, we are going to come to what? Each key local machine. Each key local machine. You expand this. We are going to come to software. You expand the software, expand software. Then you are going to scroll down to your policies, your policies, you expand the policies. So after expanding the policies, you are going to, after expanding policy, you expand Microsoft. After expanding Microsoft, you see, you expand Windows, Windows. So in here, you are going to create a new key, but some system already have this key, Windows Update, this key. So if you don't have the key, Windows Update, you are going to right click, you are going to press the Windows, then in, the, in this place, you right click, click on New, then click on New Key, then you name the key Windows Update. But if you have the key, you just type the name, Windows Update. Well, if you already have the key, there is no need to create the key. All you have to do is what? click on the key and then press new. We are going to be creating another. So you can see if you have the key, uh, it will have this um, red D word. So you are going no to uh, you are going to set it to one if you have this. But if you don't have the key and you created Windows Update, you are going to create a new DWORD 32-bit value. And then you are going to name it, this is the name you are going to name it, AU Options. AU Options. So, rename this value AU Options. So, after renaming the value AU Options, you click on it and set the value to one. Then click on OK. So, after doing all these methods, this four method listed, this will be placed in the description to guide you how to go through the registry editor. Remember, I am going to create this key. If you don't have the key, if you don't have the key in your registry editor, 
and then you are going to create this d word 32 bit 32 bits and then you set the value to 1 in your options you set the value to 1 so remember first of all you are going to disable in services in the group policy editor you are going to disable uh, you are going to set metered connection and also in the registry editor now if you go to your windows update window windows update you can see when you go to the windows update it's going to say tell you that some settings are managed by your organization so the windows will no longer update hope, the, hope with this you've learned how to disable windows please like share and subscribe to about device or more tech related tutorials thank you